Hello, I'm Michaela. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Today we are here to continue talking about Requiem of the Rose King, but episodes 7 through 9, because I just do not have enough storage to do multiple episodes, and 1 through 6 didn't really have a lot going on, but as we continue on, there's more to see and more to talk about, and just thoughts come to mind. So we're gonna get into it. Uh, let me say this first. If this was made into Netflix, a Netflix anime, maybe things wouldn't be so censored, at least in my opinion, because things are crazy when it, it go, things go on Netflix. And plus, tell me in your opinion, do you think they did a pretty good job with the character designs? Because I think the character designs are pretty similar to what looks like what it looks like in the manga anyway comment down below now the very beginning of volume five of the manga is exactly how episode seven starts so richard and catesby are trying to figure out where edward is being held once again <clears throat> background characters are faceless and if they're not main characters you don't get to see their face anyway we don't see in the anime is where edward in the carriage is on his way to wherever he's gonna be held. What we don't see in the anime is Warwick reveals like a head on a little plate since Elizabeth was thinking ahead and she escaped so instead it was her dad's head. We were looking at a shadow of a cape with a cape in the anime but it was just a clear face of a head in the manga. I guess that they thought it was too much. Oh well. Edward of Lancaster just confirmed that Warwick was never really an ally, ally, <laughs> since he wants to make George king. Back to Richard and Catesby, they're about to get some lodging to give their horses a rest, and if it wasn't obvious, Richard is disguised as a woman. I would have loved if they included the innkeeper saying, I love strong women, and calling Richard and Catesby a husband and wife since I kind of shipped them, because Catesby deserves some love, too. Uh, Catesby, yep, yeah, okay. The scene when they're lying together, and Catesby is, like, making a wall to protect Richard from the other mm, strange men in the lodging. Now, that scene, it was good. But I would have liked it even more if they included the when Richard pulls Rick Gatesby onto the bed and they end up in a little position like that. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Edward of Lancaster eventually meets Richard, but in the manga, Richard comes from the sky out of nowhere and then Edward sees him. But no one should mess with Richard because he's got all the skills. Plus, the interaction between Richard and Edward of Lancaster is cut short. I would want it to be a little longer all the way through until they go to the market. When they finally get to Edward, uh, York execute, and they execute their plan to rescue him. It seemed too easy in the beginning. In the manga, they ran into that same person that was rude to the innkeeper and Richard stopped him. So, the last thing I'll mention in episode 7, they were lazy when it came to Anne, or when it was time for Anne, Edward of Lancaster, and Henry to get dressed up. But then you'll see that a lot throughout the manga, just of how they can lack on how elegant they can make them look. So, yeah, and, and Edward are getting married, but this is what they get, and this is what they see or look like in the manga. And Henry is once again made king of England, but he looked better in the manga. Episode 8. Henry VI is back being king, but he's back to being depressed. This is not the life he wanted. Then we have Edward of York wants Richard to deliver the House of York flag to Warwick and George as a warning to see if they go back to his side. Something I was not looking forward to in this episode, Queen Margaret was trying to figure out Edward of Lancaster, her son, and his new wife, and why they haven't done the deed. 
And what was cut from the manga was a longer conversation between Anne, Anne and Edward when they talk about how they both love Richard, but Edward says Anne could never be with Richard since he's a woman. And once again, he just disrespects Richard because that is not how he identifies himself. He says it himself, he says sees himself as a man, so respect the pronouns. Okay. Unfortunately, Richard gets injured when they encountered a Lancastrian nobleman. On the bright side, he runs into Henry. Anyway, another thing that wasn't included in the anime was a flashback scene with the sons of York when they were young. You get confirmation of Edward being a ladies' man early on since he was convincing his brothers to go to the swimming lake or go swimming with the daughters of the village. Here comes more reasons to hate Cecily. She slaps Richard and calls him a frightful, filthy child. And Richard was trying to go home, but Edward was being pushy about it. Okay. And lastly, episode 9. <clears throat> we are now on volume 6. Uh, immediately we see that they cut the little scene with Beth, the first child of Edward and York, of York and Edward's wife, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is talking about her second child is the light of hope given to us by God. Basically, it's just a reminder that she can get revenge on the Yorks with an heir. And her husband died during the war by Richard, if you remember that. Only men can take the over the throne or yeah, during this era. So, yeah. I like Beth, the daughter, you know. <laughs> Too bad she has a diabolical and vengeful mother. Anyway, eventually, Catesby finds Richard, but he's with Henry. And Catesby knows who Henry really is, but Richard only sees him as a friend. Sometimes when things get dubbed, things can get lost in the translation. In the manga, Richard asks Catesby, Have you ever loved anyone? Even if you could not be bound to that person forever, you would want to be by their side? Forever unable to share your feelings just by your side. In the anime, he asks, have you ever been in love with anybody, despite already knowing your feelings would go unrequited? Would you stay beside them, unable to speak how you truly feel, yet content to be in their company? End quote. <laughs> On the bright side, I thought the scene where Queen Margaret is basically demanding to watch Edward, her son, fulfill his duties as a man, Hopefully, you'll see where I'm going with this. Uh, I thought this scene would be a lot crazier in the manga, but it was the same craziness craziness and weirdness in the manga and the anime. So, I did the part on how Henry fulfilled his duty. Unfortunately, it was against his will. Margaret sexually assaulted him. Not sure why they wouldn't include this very important detail. Maybe it's because it's supposed to be PG-13, according to my anime list. I don't know. A whole lot was cut before Buckingham says these lines to Richard in the anime. How strange. I read you wrong. I thought that, like myself, you were smoldering with constrained ambition. It appears I was mistaken. In the manga, Buckingham is talking about he'll be joining the battle soon and he doesn't need Elizabeth, Elizabeth's patronage anymore. I'm a little confused with the brother against brother and uncle against uncle part. So maybe you guys can clear that up for me. Uh, <clears throat> so, maybe you can hear that. I would like to, I would have liked to hear Buckingham say these from the manga. Since I was a child, they have kept my blood and power chained up, but I have no intention of being kept as their pet my entire life. And that's where I'm going to end this video. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below some favorite parts of episode 7 through 9. Or maybe things that you would have liked that would have been included. Hopefully you wanted. Just tell me what comes to mind in the comments below. And once again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. 
because we will be doing more of these because there's other episodes to talk about and more volumes for me to read. I'm still reading and enjoying myself while I'm doing this. So, like I said, I'm Michaela. I will see you later. Bye.